In just hours, former Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh will be sentenced in federal court for her role in a scheme involving her self-published children's books. Late last night, Pugh's lawyer released a pre-produced video where she makes an emotional apology to the city. WJZ is live at federal courthouse. Amy Kawada with more on what the former mayor had to say. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Lynn and Tim. The video is almost 13 minutes long, and in it, Pew apologizes repeatedly and reminds people of some of the accomplishments that she's already made. But some may see this all as a strategic move just hours before she's set to be sentenced here in federal court. I accept responsibility. I accept total responsibility. Hours before she learns her fate from a federal judge, Catherine Pugh's attorney released a pre-produced video in which she repeatedly says she's sorry. I just want to apologize to the citizens, to the young people, to my partners, my friends, everyone I've offended. Everyone I've hurt. Her attorneys tell WJZ they submitted the video to the court after Pew pleaded guilty to four federal charges, including conspiracy to defraud the U.S. government and two counts of tax evasion. Prosecutors say she deliberately engaged in a broad range of criminal acts. She's accused of defrauding people who bought her Healthy Holly children's books out of hundreds and thousands of dollars, then using the money to fund her campaign for mayor. Pew said she knows this has brought negative attention to the city she once led. By being guilty and by being involved in all of this that has led me here today has created such a ringing negativity on our city. The video reminded people of her accomplishments, which include a design school for the youth, starting the Baltimore Marathon, and being on the front lines during the uprising in 2015. Her attorneys say she will decide whether or not to address the court before the sentencing. I messed up. I really messed up. I am so sorry. I really am sorry. And prosecutors are pushing for nearly five years in prison, but her attorneys are requesting for one year and a day. And in just a matter of hours from now this morning, Pew's sentencing is set to begin here in federal court at 10. Reporting live this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJC.